Hi, thanks for tuning in to Love Life 2. This is the new season on positive gender dynamics, and I'm your host, Dr. Babe. What is expected of a man and what is expected of a woman? If we must live in unison, we, we will have to have certain gender-specific regulation and gender-specific expectations. How, uh, how about if this is what's expected of each other, to respect each other and be kind to each other, regardless? Most definitely. So but if, even, if even that's with that, the only expectation, then it doesn't matter whether you're masculine or feminine. But the problem is that socialization is what corrupts us, right? right. Yep. So there is, like evolutionary psychology, shows us sort of the factual basis of how we function. But the problem is that we social, like socially, we evolve much faster than we do biologically. Yes. So it's kind of like this constant catch up race that we're in yeah. with ourselves as a race. Be kind to each other and look out for one another. This whole idea that feminism is burning your bra and and hating men is, is You're just... blushing for me. <laughs> I'm going to be it's honest, like, oh, no. the, the idea was in my head a while ago. I, I was just thinking that a while ago because, I mean... You're wondering if I'm wearing a bra? No, well, I mean... I'm wearing a bra. <laughs> your husband's going to punch me in the throat after this. But I, I don't mean to cut you off, but oh, no. I mean, a great example of what you said a while ago. I was living in London a couple of years ago, and I distinctly remember this particular um, April showers. And I was waiting on the bus to come by. And I, told, I tell my friends this story all the time. I was I had on my jacket with a hood. It started raining. And we were by the bus stop. It was a packed bus stop. And I had my umbrella in my hand. And this lady was standing there with all her binders and her briefcase and her handbag and the whole nine. But she was in the rain with nothing. And I mean, the way I was raised here, etc. a woman needs something to help. And I opened my umbrella, held it out, and put it over her head. I thought I was doing the right thing. So this lady literally turned, looked me, looked me up and down, just stepped back out into the ring. I get so excited about different things than just the physical aspect of it. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I'm like when Christine in the kitchen and when she's yeah, cooking, you know, like, 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 like she cooks food yeah, now. but you know why though? Because like watching her do something that she loves and so passionate about and that is, is amazing at, is very attractive, uh, attractive and, and sexy to me. Mm -hmm. and. Yeah, so those kind of things really get me excited. I get really um, happy and excited and, and turned on watching her do her thing and, you know, her being happy, mm -hmm. you know? And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, trying not to say too much that he's going to regret it when he goes home. No, and she's gonna no. Be like, we do what no, he say. We <laughs> <share> way too <laughs> much. <laughs> but it is important. I, mm -hmm. I think that, that we don't talk about it enough, especially, you know, in relationships because we get busy. You know, like life takes over and oh, kids. Sure, yeah. I mean, you don't have I kids was, yet. I, I don't have kids. I'm like, you throw kids in the mix and it's like a whole other ball of wax. When we think about good sex, objectively, it's passion, it's orgasms, it's fire. But subjectively, um, it's kind of like what you need in that moment. It's, you know, sometimes you want to have, you know, sweet sex and you want to be held and, mm -hmm. you know, it's a beautiful experience. And sometimes, you know, you want your hair pulled a little bit and you're on the opposite spectrum. So mm -hmm. I think it's, it's just, you know, in that moment. And I don't think that one is better than the other. I think it's just, it's what you need. Mm -hmm. And some people really just like it one way and some people like it another or they like to mix it up. Yeah, I would have to say that one way is not good sex. <laughs> <laughs> one way sex is yeah, bad Yeah, one sex. way sex is not, it's not great. <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah, definitely you need to have, you know, you, some experimentation. You can't, you can't be like one, two, three every single time. That's not going to... Boring, repetitive sex yeah. is probably going to dry up at Yeah, some point. real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I've worked with so many people like, and in so many situations where men always just want to cross the border. You know, like they just want to make the sure. <laughs> like, yeah, like, there is not even a boundary. There is a border. I can stay over there, you know? But um, yeah, so I've, all, I've been in situations where I've had to, you know, and, and even political situations where I've had to say that's not appropriate, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I think in this day and age, a lot of people, they 
cross whether they intentionally want to or not, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, accidents happen, but then you put yourself in that position, you know, to understand not putting yourself into a position where that could potentially happen, right. you know, um, and then they try to like cover it up, you know, and try to pretend in the same scenario, which makes it psychologically a bit harder, mm -hmm. you know, to, to socialize with other people when no one really knows what's going on, you know. Um, so I think you have to know yourself, you have to know what your triggers are, you know, and set up your boundaries and make sure that, you know, you're in you live with integrity. Now's a good time to take a short break, so stay with us. We'll be right back on Love Life 2. Whether you were born in the Cayman Islands, have lived here for years, or have recently moved here, it is safe to say that our residents are proud people. At Brick K Insurance, we pride ourselves on being honest, secure, professional, and efficient. We are the largest insurance company in Cayman, making sure that over 90% of our staff are Caymanian and that our customers have the best possible experience. Come to our newly renovated building and let us show you true customer service. There is a reason we have been the leader in Caymanian insurance for over 30 years. At Brick K, people come first. 